So I'm coming to you from the top of the screen this time because in this video, we're gonna be all about the footers. So this section here, it will normally be made up of a site canvas and if it's not, you should definitely change it to a site canvas because it's something that's gonna be consistent across all of your pages. Meaning this section you can click on, this one you can't just click on and edit. You need to press the, green, the blue button and when you click into it, it will take you to a very specific section. So let's come off there. Sometimes they're split into multiple bits, like here, we're split into uh, an Instagram section and then a credit section. Sometimes they're all one section, so it's completely dependent on how the template is built. Um, this is different sections just because it's easier to manage one white section for Instagram and then a darker colored one for the, the credits just so everything's evenly spaced. That's pretty much it. So first of all, we're gonna do this one. Edit it, and then I'm gonna move myself down here so I'm not in the way. Uh, so what we do now is we can change the text on it. So the images I'm using for this example are from source to code. So I'm going to keep that there, but you can double click on it. And if you're, um, if they're your images, cause show it's mainly for photographers. They're normally your own images, images by, there we go by me. Um, but now I'm gonna change that back because these are actually from source code. Uh, you can change the, you can remove power by show it if you want. You can remove the design credit. It's completely up to you. But if you do things like that, what you have to do is then go over to the mobile version and make sure it's all sized correctly because you've just deleted a few bits and there's a lot of space left. Also, if you have a few more social medias that you want to include, what you can do is you can copy one that's already there, move it over slightly. So say I want to include a few more, move them over. And then if I highlight them all and press this one here, distribute, it'll make sure they're all distributed evenly. We then click on it and we have an icon chooser, which we can select our social medias from. So say I want to include Twitter and Pinterest. And then what you can also do is go in the click actions section and type in your URL for that section. So if you duplicate it, it will duplicate the same URL across everything. And there's a cat. <laughs> Once you add a few more, you will have to go onto the mobile version and just move them because now they're on top of each other. So what you want to do is just shift them over slightly. Ah, what am I doing? There we go. I like to keep them the same kind of order that they are on the, on the desktop version, just so they're all even. Distribute them and align them and then center them. There we go. So that is our bottom footer edited. We can also go into it and change the canvas background if we want to so say I want to make that a little bit more pink. There we go, lovely. So now I'm gonna show you how to add a live Instagram feed to your page, a little bit wild. Uh, click on the blue bits so edit Instagram and this you'll see is made up of different images. You can set them so they all link through to your Instagram and just have almost like a fake Instagram feed. I know there's some people that they don't post too consistently on their Instagram. It's a bit here and there. So they tend to put a fake feed up just because it looks more consistent with their website styling. But I'm gonna show you how to put a live one in, in case that's what you're into. So I use a website called Light Widget. Here we go. You just press the login button. It will log you into your, your Instagram feed and it will pull everything up here. So here is my Instagram feed. Um, you can filter your photos by tags, but I'm not gonna do that. I've never actually used that feature. You can choose a grid, a slideshow, if it updates, or columns Pinterest style, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna go grid. And the number of columns I want, I'm just going to style exactly like this. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight columns over one row. And let's preview that. So it kind of looks like this. Yes, that's how it wants to look. Sorry, my cat is scratching, that's what the noise is. Um, we then can set a hover effect, so we can have it to fade in. So we'll, all the, the uh, all the pictures will be kind of faded out, will fade out when you hover over them. Or we can have it, it says fade out, so they'll be kind of whited and then the true colors show up when you hover over them. So I'm gonna go fade in and Yep, a padding. Uh, the padding is about one, I'd say, on this template because they're very close together. There we go. That about matches. Then what we do here is we press the get code button. There we go. 
So this is a free widget. Uh, you will need to pay to use this, but it's something, here we go, $10 only one time fee. So $10 for your Instagram feed forever on your website, kind of a bargain. There are some other um, platforms that let you do this, but they have monthly subscriptions. So I think it's like $6 a month or something. So I would rather just pay $10 for one. So what we do is we go in here and then we go to this section down here and we press embed code. Once we get that, we paste it and hit the save button. So it does say light widget on it now, just because I haven't paid to upgrade this. And um, so it's just going to tell me that I do need to actually pay to have it there. Yes, because it's HTTPS is disabled for it. So that's not a problem. It will work when you upgrade it. So I'm just going to delete these and have this in place and lock it there. What you can also do, which I would recommend if you're, you feel like you've got the big bucks and want to pay for two of them, you can select it and turn it off on mobile and then go back into this and we're going to do another, um, a new widget. So what we're going to do is we're going to go, no, we're not going to go to my account. We're going to go to my widgets and No, we're not. We're just going to go to light widget. Click on light widget. And then we're going to go number of columns, three, number of rows, two. Padding, I'll change that to one again with a fade in effect. And let's preview it. So it looks like this. So I want something like this on mobile, just so it's long on desktop and like this on mobile. Get my code. Copy my code. And we're going to add a new code to the mobile version and hide it from desktop. So we've got two different ones that are on our site, one for desktop, one for mobile. Just make the most out of this Instagram feed we've got going on here. Now, I don't think this will actually show if I preview it just because, um, yes, it's not going to show, but it will be there, I promise, once, once you upgrade it all. I'm not going to upgrade this for this purpose because I'm not crazy. <laughs> so that is how you set that up. It will look a bit funny uh, on this preview, but it does work, I promise you. That is how you alter your footer.